It's time for a video. I don't know if I can do this selfie. It's time for a video. I'm at the farm. This is for all my dear sibs to enjoy, whoever wants. So I'm going to take you for a tour. The front of the farm is all wheat. From one end to the other. Looks so small. And you've got the house. The house appears hardly lived in. There's no or the walkway to the house it doesn't have much evidence of footprints. And then we get to the barn. The silo's gone. Do you notice that? Took me, I was going by and I thought for a minute, oh, something's different. It looks like, you know, like I look in the mirror and I've just shaved or something. Now, I can because I only got so much battery. I'm going into the barn. It's got a new cement floor. It looks rather crude. It goes up and down. I don't know what they expect to do. Scrape it out, I guess. It smells sort of same old beams. I wonder how rotten those fucking things would be. Oh, I shouldn't say fuck. The beams have got to be. Oh, we got a little. We add a little cement there, and I guess we put an I beam in. I think they should put another one in. These beams can't have, can't be strong enough to hold it up. They've even did they put new wires in. Can't tell. In any case, half cemented. Somewhere here is the door that we came in, where the feed was. Fortified, they've added cement to hold the wall up here, keep it from falling down because, of course, there's no foundation. There's the stairs up. God, how many times did I bang my head on that? Eh? Oh, I just gotta have a look. Okay, finish down here. I think Pop probably put those posts there like that. I wonder if he had an engineer approve it. And here's another one. Here we've we've made the post stronger by putting a sleeve along down the outside. We we put cement it around and put cement around. I guess then the pigs could need it too. Coming out here, the, this is the extension that John Chapman built. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm going to go upstairs now. If I can. I want something to break on me. There we are. Can already see it. Beams that we climbed on. Straw that we jumped on. It was so big once. Looks pretty solid still. Awesome. Okay, gotta go back down. I suppose if you're not gonna drive a tractor on the floor upstairs, you hardly need to do anything more. I wonder what they're gonna do with that insulation. I think you have to keep the pigs warm. Took quite a while. Okay, we've got a door. We've made an opening here so the skid steer can get in. And we've cemented the access. You'd presume they're gonna put a door in here someday. We don't intend to use the silo anytime soon. Stranded infrastructure. Yep, 
yeah, that's how I got here. They should plant some trees along the lane. They should plant some trees along the fence line, break the wind. Look how nice those trees are that that guy put in in the lot next where Frank and I tried to kill ourselves a whole bunch of times. That's how you harvest the crops these days. It almost looks a lot like the house is unoccupied. The grass is cut, but if people went walking up here, they would, they're doing it in tippy toes. I think Mrs. Chapman was the last one to keep that nice here. Look at that beautiful plant. Is that a native? Probably is. There's probably lots of native species in here. I'm gonna go walk around. All these uh, spruces came and cedars came subsequent to the young ha inhabitation. They've got quite the windbreak here. I remember when uh, the wind used to howl at those windows there in the winter when we were there as kids sleeping in our underneath the carpets or whatever it was that has blankets. And the woodshed here where they cut up the dead elms using the chainsaw without hearing protectors and, and assorted other safety equipment. I presume I can't go in, and I probably shouldn't. I'm looking in, nobody there. Did you actually lock it? No, not locked. Spider webs. Not much there. Oh, hello. How are you today? Come to visit. Can I stay for a cup of coffee? Maybe a cup of Nescafe. Yeah. Are you a little busy? All right. Oh, no worries. Oh, once there was Mrs. Chapman. Once there was Mrs. DeYoung cooking away here. And a big stove right here. This was the Fritzekammer. There was a wall over there, of course. And there was a wall, the door through here. The door through there, which was shortcut, so this could be closed, and all you'd eat is the downstairs. In the living room were hockey games and arm wrestling and other kinds of wrestling took place. And where wrestling resulted in broken furniture with all the necessary ire. This was a door, now it's a patio door. Let's go upstairs. Stairs is still where it always used to be. And look out onto the farm. And there'd be cows in the barn and be people around. Those are the days. Still the bathroom. Bathroom where the pup would wash himself with a pail of water so that he wouldn't use too much water. And this room with the lovely carpet, this was the boys' room for a while. Over here was some girl's room, sometimes Agnes and Ina, Agnes and sometimes Ina and Frank, I think, all mysteries at least.
And this used to be the balcony. This was Ina's room. Tiny little room where she was too close to the master bedroom, which is here. This master bedroom where all the good things happen. Got new windows since then. And that's it. You can tour it all the way around. I think I've looked everywhere. Not a soul to be seen here. As I stand and walk here, I'm not even sure where we go downstairs. Oh, there we go downstairs. There we go for a complete tour. Do lights work? No, lights don't work. You go down here. It's probably too dark. Oh, it's been cemented. This is where shitty old furnace was. And where mom would have her dandelion wine. And we'd take a sip before we go out to milk the cows in the morning. And that is a tour of Lot 5, Concession 5. So I go and make my way back out the door. I do like this native plant here. You think you can buy that at garden centers anywhere? Back in our day, we couldn't sit on the porch and view our ranch. So, this is where many, uh, a few generations have tried to make their dreams. Where John Chapman made his dreams after we had, after my father had his dreams. Cruelly interrupted by anaphylactic shock or asthma or whatever it was that bears no handy explanation. It's a new world. There's the door we went in so many times where my father would emerge from around 10 in the morning to have a cup of coffee with with mum. There must have been some good times there. This is how you harvest crops these days. It's probably a small combine in the grand scheme of things. And here's the back of the farm. It's all wheat. Sometimes it's all beans. Maybe he's got burned trying corn, so he doesn't do that anymore. And he's stuck the stupid solar panel right in the middle of the field. Which is kind of dumb. This used to be one, two, three, four, five, I think six fields. Pasture right here. Pasture and hay over there. Behind the barn didn't grow much, super heavy clay. And there's the barn dump. It's up this hill. All the grain went and all the hay where we learned to back up. And where first pup would do this, you know, he would drive up the barn dump into the barn and back down. And and you would think, you'd be so amazed. <laughs> and that's that's the amazing farm scene video update from me. Bye.